And good morning, church. This is a beautiful May 24th. It is a Wednesday, and we are glad that you are with us today as we look at the book of Matthew. And this is one of my this is one of the stories in the Bible that is dear to me, the parable of the wedding feast, and absolutely love it because Jesus was was amazing and is amazing at parables and telling a story that we can relate to that you know this stuff is real and um, I understand that and I just want to break this down for you real quick Matthew um, chapter 22 he says um, the kingdom of heaven is like a certain man who arranged a marriage for his son and that is absolutely the truth good morning Miss Shasta and that is absolutely the, the truth um, because the only way we can be redeemed back to the Father is through the Son, is our faith through the Son, um, by you know faith by grace. And he says, um, and he sent out servants to call them, call those who were invited to the wedding, and they were not willing to come. Again, he sent out servants, and he said, "I've fed, you know, killed the fatted." Um, fatted calf and um, come to my wedding we, I'm, you know I'm asking you please and they killed the servants that went out and then he finally said go out to the highways and the byways and get those the, uh, the boat both the good and the bad and the wedding hall was filled with guests verse 11 he says but when the king came to came in to see the guests he saw a man who was there and did not have a wedding garment and that is very important did not have a wedding garment and he said to him friend how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment and he was speechless and then the Bible says then the king said to his servants bind him hand and foot and take him out to the take him away and cast him to the outer darkness and there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth for many are called but few are chosen. And that is just amazing that the Lord, he didn't say we couldn't come to the wedding feast. He said we had to be prepared to come to the wedding feast. And I absolutely, um, I absolutely love that. You know, we were created in God's image. So when things go the way, when our father is taking care of us and, and, and we respond and we react to him the way we're supposed to. Things fall into place and they're absolutely beautiful and they have purpose. And that's what he's talking about here. He said, friend, how did you come in here without a wedding garment? We need to look at ourselves. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on that we need to, we need to examine ourselves um, every day. The things that we say, the things that we look at the things that we listen to um there's a lot of stuff i can't listen to anymore and i can't watch anymore because i'm focusing more on on getting ready for this wedding feast i'm getting ready for, for what the lord's called us to do and who he's called us to be but he says many are called but few are chosen well i thought everybody was welcome i thought everybody if 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 you follow my commandments, if you love me, we've been reading in John chapter 14 um, in, in our Sunday school class and um, experiencing God and going through. It says, if you love me, keep my commandments. People will know that you're my disciples because you keep my commandments. Um, John 14, 5, 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. Uh, he, he talks about if you don't keep the commandments, then you're a liar when you say you're his. So just falling in love with God and doing what he's called us to do. And I promise you that the wedding feast was set up for us. It was set up for us because it's been paid, paid by his son. And all we have to do is put our faith in him and follow his commandments. Amen. I hope you have a blessed day. Miss Debbie Powell, it's wonderful to see you, praying for you. Uh, Brother Danny, I pray that you have a great day. Uh, lift up one another, brother Marvin. We we're just we're just encouraged that God is 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 
working is doing the gleaming, bringing the people from the, the outer edges and, um, you know, the, the leftovers. Amen. And God has a wonderful purpose and plan for, um, for this time. I believe that the wedding is very soon and I hope that you're a part of it. Uh, tell your, tell your family members. Now is the time to tell your family members and everybody that the wedding is coming close and make sure that their garments are the right ones. And there's only one right garment, and that's the one we get from our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Tell somebody about Jesus today. I love you. I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.